Okay, here we are on step 32. <coughs> and this will be assembling the smokestacks for the back. Now in the instructions, you'll see it. I'm going to list the part numbers. It'll be like A8, A7, A6, and then B8, B7, B6. That doesn't mean they're on the A and B sprues. These are on the H sprue. And A and B is for left and right because it, it will make a difference. Uh, so make sure you don't get your parts mixed up. Keep all your A's and B's separate. <coughs> so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start the assembly here. I'll just move this set off to the side. And we can start assembly here. First thing is we'll take the crown of the smokestack and you're just gonna fit it in here like so. What we're gonna do is just put a couple of dabs of glue, small dab in each of those corners just to grab hold of it. Not too much. enough to hold it in place. It's not a very thick piece, so you don't need a lot of glue. And you have to be careful when you're taking this crown piece out of the sprue because it's connected at three points, so you want to be very careful you don't snip off the top of the stack. So that's holding pretty good. So then the next part you're going to want to do is <coughs> match up the star pattern on the bottom of the crown into the next piece. I'll fit right in there. Get some glue here. Yeah, I think definitely on my I'll be doing a build of one of these that'll have lights on it. And if you've seen, I have another video of the 15 millimeter version of the Crusader where I put lights in it. And that was a challenge just because it was so small. With this one being twice as big, pretty much uh, <coughs> there's a lot more space to, to work with. So at some point I will be lighting these up probably on my next build, not this one. Okay, so then the rest of this, on the bottom of each of these parts, it's keyed, so you can't put these uh, on incorrectly. So you just kind of follow and match the shape with the slot. <coughs> continue that on all the way down. Now when you get to these pieces here with the grooves, there will be a, even though these are key, there will still be a little play in each part, so make sure you, all your grooves are lined up, otherwise it won't look, won't look right. So for instance here, even though there's a key, you'll notice this part moves, so before the glue dries, just make sure you have those lined up. Piece here for the 
bottom before we get to the very bottom. Again, same with this one, just try to line up the line up the slots on here. There's a little piece of plastic that's keeping from this from sitting flush. Shave that off. Let's hold that for a minute until the glue grabs hold. center parts so uh, see what it looks like once it's done but may have to go and do a little gap filling later just to get rid of the horizontal seams there and then the last part is the not the end cap but the bottom cap here in. Go in here. Okay. So we'll put this one side to dry. We'll just go through the same on the other stack. You know, the amount of space in the uh, stack here should be fairly straightforward to run a LED up through here. And what I did on my uh, small leviathan I lit up. I used votive candles that flickered so it kind of gives a that effect of a fire inside and actually had some cotton I had sprayed dark gray that looked like smoke coming out the back and uh, you can see it in the in the video. Uh, I think I did last month, talking about the 15 millimeter Eisenkern Crusader with LEDs or something to that effect. It's further down the playlist. But overall, I was pretty happy with the effect. And that was challenging because it was a full piece of resin. There's this being plastic. And just, just because it's bigger too, the size wise, you have a lot more room to, to play with. And that hole, I haven't measured it, but the kind of the hole in the middle looks like it probably fit a five millimeter LED pretty well. Now you'd have to drill out through here to run the wires, but uh, you should be able to do that with little to no trouble. Same thing here is just matching up the shape. 
shapes. It's like that old kids game where you have the different shape blocks and you gotta put them in the right holes in the toy to win the game. So just match up your shapes with the hole and you'll be good to go. are lined up in the stack here. Anyway, I'll add this bottom piece here. Hold it for a few seconds till everything grabs. And then this will see this will complete step thirty two. And thirty three we'll just we'll actually use these in uh that step. Put this this one down. Let it dry. This one should be good. Yeah. Now on step 33, you're adding the parts that it will mount to. And on the pieces, you'll notice, I don't know if you'll see it on the camera, but there's actually an arrow on the inside of the, the piece, and that's just pointing up, <coughs> and that fits into the, the back here, like so. You know, see these two pieces, there's a little slot there when you put them together. And it goes on like so. our arrow is facing up. Snap that in place and then just give it a minute to figure out here is let's go that way. Because where this will end up going on is on the back piece of the Leviathan. Fitting that on there. Peter's at 
this will go on like so. Leans to one side, yeah. So when you put it on, it's gonna angle down like that. So we'll just glue these pieces together. Should have done that a second ago, but. Put it on here. grabs and we'll just double check on the back plate here to make sure it's because that's kind of how you're going to want it to sit on the back where it's got a little bit of an angle you can see it kind of follows the line of the back so that will be our left stack that dry and then we'll just do the same on this side. Again finding the piece making sure the arrow is facing up. We'll put these two pieces together. I'm gonna get the little hole in the back here, so you know which way to put it together. Once we get this on, this will complete step 33. for a second till it grabs and then we'll just double check on the back piece to make sure we've turned it properly. So yeah you'll see this is how the stacks will look on the back. Kind of go out at a slight angle. those dry and we'll move on to step 34 which is the reactor <clears throat> yeah now this is the iron core reactor and 
this is what powers the Leviathan. It's uh, we got to do is got to put these little guys on the back. These are the purge purge plugs. And it looks like there is a specific orientation for them. see how they <coughs> these little slots on the top are going the same direction I mean ultimately it probably wouldn't matter if you did them either way I guess you just want to keep it consistent so you didn't have it different on both sides if you know if you're that detail oriented, which I am, so maybe it's a little OCD, but I'll uh, try to keep them all going in the same direction. But yeah, these are the purge valves on the reactor. So if it starts to overheat or go critical, the iron core can purge out through these uh, purge plugs here. <coughs> so all we have to do in step 34 is just glue these in place. Take these out, grab the glue, bang this step out pretty quick. So we'll just throw a drop in each hole here. Get the purge plugs in. complete step 34. Now step 35 we'll just be putting these well putting this onto the back and then uh, putting the smokestacks on the back. And it's pretty obvious how this goes that there's a cutout with the where it fits perfectly so uh, just add some glue to the outside edge here. Drop the reactor in place. Supposed to. Good. A little overflow here, so I'll just wipe that off with my finger. And then the other part of this is putting the smokestacks in place. So We'll do here is just put some glue in the slots. That one there. That one there. And I'll show you the orientation of the stacks, how they angle out slightly. Just going to hold this for a few seconds. And this is uh, the completion of step 35. Now step 36, we'll be putting this onto the back of the shoulders that we did in uh, steps 28 to 31. So this goes solid, okay. So we'll want to put it on this here. <coughs> I believe. Goes on like the 
Dios. Yeah, it'll go on like that. So this is the front chest. I'll just eye this up, see where it makes contact. We'll put some cement on there. And before we do that, these two little pieces off the case screw that I think just drop in to the holes here. dry fit this here take a look all right yeah I don't think you really need to glue these in place once the the back piece goes on they're kind of held in there so they're not going anywhere Again, I'm just checking for a point of contact so I know where to put the cement. So like it'll just be right around the edge. spots here. Get a piece of towel here. See if I can get to this before it starts drying too much. Again, it's not the end of the world if you get a little glue overflow. You can always clean that up later and when you paint and prime it'll cover it up but it will bulge out a little bit. I'm not too concerned in the back really because uh, these aren't spots you'll see very easily. Now the last part of the step is putting on the top shoulder part there. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. These, uh, I'm glad I didn't glue these pieces in because these two little pieces, I was looking at the instructions are only actually go in the, the front holes, not the back. So 
So, get this back together real quick. That is the one downside I don't like about plastic cement. These little strings you get if you have to pull it apart. So that'll require a little cleanup. So these two filler pieces actually go in the front holes, not the not the back. That makes that makes more sense. So they go in in the front. Because once this is on, you want to hide the, the screw holes. You don't see them in here because they're covered up by these two parts. So then we'll put some glue on here, and this will finish up uh, step 36. And that's the bulk of the build, really. So right now, it's more or less just assembling the various parts we have. And we're almost done here. We're in the home stretch. assembling the upper torso piece and that brings us to the end of step 36 so we just have two steps left 37 and 38 which will be the putting the head on here and the shoulders and uh, then after that it'll just be assembling all the parts and completing the build So I'm going to hold this for a bit to make sure it dries and then uh, we'll move on to steps 37 and 38.